Good morning. I'm Erin Birch of ErinBirchCoaching.com. I was just hosting a morning wake up call, a podcast for a group of awesome community of group, uh, awesome group community of entrepreneurs that I'm a part of. And the subject today was really, really special to me. It's something I think almost everyone can relate to. So I wanted to cover this subject today. It's what do you do when you decide, hey, I'm going to be an entrepreneur. I'm going to quit my job, which is making me miserable anyway, and I'm going to start a business from home. Okay, so that's issue number one. How do you deal with your loved ones, your spouse, your friends, your family who think you've lost your mind? And uh, another issue I was talking about is how you handle it when you decide that you're going to start working on you. So a lot of times I think these issues happen at the same time in your life because when you come into the world of online marketing, affiliate marketing, network marketing, whatever, this is an industry that is, <clears throat> pardon me, very supportive of self-development on you working on you, on you growing as a human being. Okay. So I think a lot of times, I know a lot of people like myself did nothing for self-development. I thought it was a load of crap until I came into this industry, until I stepped into this amazing community community of entrepreneurs where it's supported, where it's encouraged, right? So I stepped into this world, hey Brian, I stepped into this world and sprinted down the path of self-development and it has changed everything. So you absolutely must be surrounding yourself with friends, a community, whatever of people who support what the path that you have chosen for yourself right you can't let someone else stop you if you've decided you want to grow on your on you don't let anyone else tell you you're wasting your time that it's fluff that it's bs if this is the path that you are meant to be taking take that path there will always be people in your life that want to stop you and hold you back, A, because they don't understand it. They're not on the same path, at least right now. Or there are people who just don't get what you're doing. You know, it's, it's ignorance, right? They just don't get what you're doing, whether it be growing a home, your own business or self-development. And then there are people you will come across that actually don't want to see you succeed. If they're not having success, they don't like to see other people having success. It's a really shitty characteristic in somebody, but there are people like that. You got to you gotta cut them out of your life, right? You need to surround yourself with people who are on the same life path, who get you, who get what you're doing, therefore are going to be supportive of you doing so. And what can happen is if you're in a relationship with someone who doesn't get you, it can cause so much freaking conflict in the relationship that I think sometimes a lot of people go, okay, fine, I'll go get a job, I'll go get another job, or I'll keep my job that's making me miserable, or I won't step in to, to growing my own business, I'll go get a job and I'll be miserable again, okay, does that make you happy? I'll keep that steady flow of money coming in so that you can feel secure, but I will be miserable. Don't let yourself fall into that trap. You're pleasing that person. You are not pleasing yourself. You've got to make yourself happy. No one else will do it. It is not their job to make you happy. It is your job to make you happy. And when you get to a place where you accept that, oh my God, it's free because you don't rely on someone else to make you happy. This is something I realized in the last year. It was not my husband's job to make me happy. That was my job. Anyway, so why I express that point is so that hopefully you don't give in to what other people expect of you and you follow the path that you're meant to take. You are meant to grow as a human being. That is a very big reason you are here is to grow as a human being, not to stay the same, okay? For one thing, if you follow Joe Dispenza, which I know a lot of you do, when you stay the same, your brain isn't making those new connections. But when you change, when you're constantly changing and growing, your brain is making those new awesome connections. And that's, that's necessary. 
So in the call today, I was giving you ways to deal with your, your partner, family member, whatever, friend. Let's start with the fact that you've decided to become an entrepreneur and they all think you're lost your mind, having a midlife crisis, whatever. Um, that's what happened to me. A lot of people in my life thought I was having a midlife crisis because I made so many freaking changes in my life all at once. And I'm talking within a year, I, you know, um, marriage split up and I stepped into the world of online marketing with absolutely no experience, no, no tech skills, no online marketing skills, no computer skills. I didn't even know how to copy and paste. I didn't even know how to post a picture on Facebook. Okay, so people in my life thought I had lost my mind. I, Aaron's having a midlife crisis. No, Aaron's having a midlife realization. It happens to us all between the age of 38 and 45 when you go, oh my God, I'm middle-aged. I'm middle-aged. My life is half over. Do I want the second half of my life to go along just as it's going along now? Or do I want something different? Do I want it to be better, more fulfilling? Do I want to be happier in the second part of my life? Because if you're not so happy right now, you're going to continue being not so happy. And you do not want to lay on your deathbed and go, I wish I had been happier. Did you know I talked about this on my last morning wake-up call, actually. There's a book written by a gal. Her name's Bronnie Ward, Australian gal. She used to counsel, counsel the dying. She was a palliative nurse. The number one regret people have on their deathbed is I wish I had followed my own path, right? So why didn't they follow their own path? E, A, they didn't have the guts to do it, or B, they had people in their life who stopped them from doing so and they listen to those people and now they're regretting it. I don't know about you. I don't want to have any regrets when I'm laying on my deathbed. What I want to say to myself is, Oh my God, I had a kick ass life. Wow. Did I have fun? Wow. Was my life full of joy? It was so stinking fulfilling. Whew, I'm ready, right? That's where you want to be. No regrets. And the thing is, too, is when you listen to other people and they stop you from doing what you know is right for you, you end up having regrets. OK, so you need to surround yourself with people who get you, who are on the same life path, who are going to support what you're doing. Right. That's exactly what I've done. That's what happens when you come into this community of entrepreneurs. You want to know what community I'm talking about? Just hit me up and I will share with you. But I wanted to talk about a few of the things you can do when your partner family member, whatever, thinks you've lost your mind about being an entrepreneur. You've got to get the, these are ways you can get them on board, ways you can help them understand what you are doing. A, explain what affiliate marketing, network marketing is, online marketing is, so that they're no longer going, is this a pyramid scheme? Explain to them the difference between network marketing and pyramid scheme. And if you're watching this and you don't know the difference, a pyramid scheme is yes, it's shaped like pyramid, like everything out there is. But in a pyramid scheme, there's no product. There's actually nothing to sell. So money just kind of flows up and the people on the top get all the money. When there's no product involved, that is a pyramid scheme. In a network marketing company, when there is product, it's a legitimate business model, okay? Big, huge difference. Ed educate people on that. I had my best friend ask me, three weeks ago. Are you still doing that pyramid thing? Oh, I educated her on what a pyramid scheme actually is. She won't be saying that again. So anyway, so it, just define what, you know, this industry is for your loved one. Next one, talk about what you're doing and the success that you are going to create with extreme conviction. They need to, when you're talking about your path and what you're going to do and what you're, how you're going to succeed and what you're going to accomplish and you say it with such conviction, they're going to go, oh, wow, she is serious. They need to know you are so stinking serious. If you come at them like, well, I've decided to start a home business and I'm going to sell this whatever product, makeup, grapey grape, I don't care what it is. If they don't feel that conviction from you, they are not going to get a be on board with you because they're not going to believe you that you can succeed. You got to, you've got to express to them that, Oh, I am doing this. I don't give a crap if I have your support or not. This is what I'm doing. You can be with, you know, you can be behind me or sit back and watch me succeed. 
right? Next thing you want to do, do whatever it takes to get some results so that you can show them some results, whether it be getting a sign up, a customer, your first commission, whatever it may be, work your tail off to get some results to show that person, it will shut them up. When you can show, especially your partner, that you've got some money coming in, that you got a commission, that will that goes a long ways to shutting them up and getting them on board with you, okay? Show them what you're doing. Get them involved. Get them on a team call. You know, get them to a live event. If you can get your partner to a live event, that will change everything. They will feel that fire too, and they just might even join you in business if that's what you want, right? So, you know, you got you have to look for ways to get them to appreciate what you're doing. For one thing, you know, you know, you could even express to them, you know what? This is what I really want to do. I'm going for it. This is really important to me. Okay? So I would really appreciate your support. My job is making me miserable. Or if I have to go get another job bagging groceries or whatever, I'm going to be miserable. Do you want to live with a miserable bitch? Or would you like to be living with somebody who is, you know, accomplishing great things and working on her dream? And, you know, because you will become a different person. When you start creating results for yourself, it changes you. When you start proving to yourself that you can do it, it will change you, right? And you are going to become a better person. And you know what? Your partner might really, really like that change. If they don't, if it scares them the way you've changed, if you become a little ballsier and all that kind of thing, well, then that's another issue. But you can't change for someone else right? And you cannot change their perception of you. You can only be true to yourself. That is your mission in life, being authentically you and true to yourself and following the path you were meant to take, okay? Got to be true to yourself. So when it comes to you growing, you know, working on yourself, if they don't get what you're doing, you might have some tough decisions to make, right? Oh my God, a lot of us go through this. It's really hard to explain to someone that you're working on yourself. If they're not involved in the world of self-development or they're not, oh, if they just don't get what you're doing, why you're doing it, how important it is to you, they might just think you've lost your mind, right? So you need to express to them how important it is for you and you're doing it with or without them, right? You Sometimes you've just got to express to people you love how important it is for you. If they don't think it's all that important, that this is just a flavor of the week, then they're not going to take you seriously. It's, it's up to you to make them realize just how serious you are about all of this, right? And once they feel from you how serious you are, then they're either going to put up a fight, put up a lot of resistance, or they're going to allow you to do it. But you've got to remember when you start working on yourself, it scares your loved ones, okay? It scares them. It's, it's very threatening to them. A lot of times they can feel really, really betrayed because when they see you working on yourself and you finding happiness within yourself and you're no longer looking for happiness just from them, they can feel threatened, right? They can feel like you're looking at it as we're no longer us, it's just me right? So they can feel threatened and betrayed. So you can always explain it to a person. You know what? I've grown so much as a human being. I've realized a few things. I realize that it's not up to you to make me happy. It's up to me to make me happy. And that's what I am working on. And hey, do you maybe want to join me in this journey of personal growth? And they might surprise you when they see you becoming this better version of yourself, the stronger version, they might decide to join you. If they don't, then you are left with some really difficult decisions to make. But you've got to remain true to yourself. You don't want to find yourself, you know, whatever, 5, 10, 15 years later going, my God, I was on such an amazing, amazing path and I stopped for this person. And now I'm really regretful and really, really resentful. And when you are with somebody in a relationship where the resentment is constantly there, that becomes very, very unpleasant. And I think a lot of resentment comes from when you're not being true to yourself um, 
and you're expecting the other person to make you happy when it's actually up to you to do so. Speaking from experience here, right? So you don't want to have regrets. So you've got to do whatever it takes to remain on your own path and be true to yourself. Because you know what? No one can help you grow personally. It's you who has to do that. Nobody really, they, people can encourage you maybe and maybe motivate you and steer you in the direction of some resources to get you going on working on yourself. But that's work you have to do on your own. It's like growing a business, right? People can help you grow your skill sets or point you in the direction of where you can acquire those skill sets and they can encourage you, all that kind of stuff. But you got to do it on your own. There are things in life that you've got to do on your own, right? It's like motivation. I'm going off on a tangent. You can't really motivate people. You can encourage them and inspire them and somewhat motivate them. But motivation comes within. It comes from within you, yourself. So if you are unable to motivate yourself or um, keep yourself motivated, then you've got a problem. Then you're going to go off the rails, so to speak. You may wander off your path. You have to learn how to consistently be able to motivate yourself so that you stay on your path, right? You've got to find your fire, your passion, and you've got to stoke that every freaking day. What I now do, here's the thing. You might be able to relate to this one. I'm really going off on a tangent, but I find for myself, I know when I am out of alignment, right? I'll be at a really high vibration, feeling so much pure freaking joy. Something will happen like, I don't know, a stupid comment from somebody on Facebook. And I feel myself, I'm way up here. All of a sudden, I feel myself go, whoop, and my vibration drops because I've taken what's happened or what they said too seriously. The only thing you can control is yourself, right? So don't take things that are out of your control seriously. Don't give them power over you. But this is what I'm working on big time. So that causes my vibration to drop. And you know what happens? Once my vibration starts to drop, all these little things are start happening in my day and my vibration drops until, you know, suddenly I'm like depressed and doubting myself and going, my God, what am I doing? And all that self-doubt and that self-talk sneaks in. Now what I, when I recognize it's happening, that my vibration is dropping, I stop and I do what I need to do to bring myself up to the high vibration again and stop my day from spiraling out of control. Because it happens, it spirals down. And then you're going, well, that was a shitty day when you could have actually nipped it in the bud when, when the first thing started to kind of throw you out of alignment. This is what I've learned about myself. You know, for example, somebody makes a stupid comment or I don't know what, whatever it may be. Then I jump in my vehicle, I go somewhere. I'm going to be a completely different driver now. I'm going to be the, the road rage, you know, hurry up, use your turn signal, blah, blah, blah. I become that driver. If I keep my alignment high when I got pissed off or whatever and I did what I needed to do to bring my vibration back up, I then get in my vehicle and it's a whole different driving story, right? La, 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 la. Life is wonderful. I don't care if you didn't use your turn signal. I don't care if you're driving way below the speed limit because life is so freaking good. I don't care. I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to be present. I'm telling you, it's that much of a difference in your day, in your life. So when you feel stuff starting to go wrong, stop and do what you need to do to elevate your vibration, whether that be spend 10 minutes meditating, 10 minutes dancing, have music that raises your vibration and go and listen to a song. I swear to God, I have a couple songs that will change my vibration in like three minutes. Actually less than that, I can do it in like 10 seconds now. So, you know, dance, even, you might have heard me talk about this on another call, the Superman pose. When you stand there and do the Superman pose, it change, when you, if you want to change your state of mind, you change your physiology. Dance, Superman pose, go work out. I know Jen, my business partner, Jen Johnson, sometimes she'll message me and say something like, I have an idea or let's do this or whatever. And if I respond with, I need to go work out, that means don't talk to me right now. You want to talk to me after. 
I've lifted some weights and gotten, you know, and gotten some some um, aggression out and raised my my vibration, elevated my vibration. Because when I'm done the workout, whatever was bugging me is gone, and I'm now back at that higher elevation, that higher um, vibration. So anyway, I hope that helps you guys out. I think this is stuff that everybody deals with, um, especially people who come into the, uh, the world of online marketing. These are issues that are probably going to pop up in life for you. Um, I don't know anyone who's in this industry and can't relate to the, you know, what I've just talked about in this video. So I hope it helps you out a lot. Um, yeah, if you're looking for some resources to start growing, you know, working on yourself or anything like that, hit me up. Um, I discovered a few people online recently that I've been listening to and huge difference, huge difference. Growing every single day, becoming a better version of yourself every single day. And here's the thing, when you're the best version of yourself, are you better able to help other people? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Anyway, that's it for me today, you guys. Have an amazing day. Hey, Mark. Hey, Annette. Hey, Baxter. How's it going? Hey, Nadia. Anyway, that's it for me. Have an amazing day, you guys. Love you guys. Bye.